Just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. What is our own Spark of Under 1982 Federated Civilian Reviews here? And welcome to a whole new episode of Retro S. To kick off this retro gaming takeover of Disabled Game Reviews here, we will turn the clocks back to 1989 for some old school beat em up action. Is this game worthy of remembrance, or should this game be lost forever in the pages of gaming history? Well, without further ado, let's kick off the nostalgia and let's find out. The late 1980s was a transitional period in video games. The industry as a whole got back on its feet from the great crash in 1983, thanks to Nintendo. By the time a new challenger entered the ring, Sega. Through the 90s, Sega was the coffee stain in Nintendo's best white suit. From that point and during the 90s, the two video gaming titans went head to head for dominance of the home console market. It was the time when playrooms became battlefield as players debated over which console was better. 1989 in particular was a very interesting year for the gaming industry. Portable handheld gaming became a reality as Nintendo released the Game Boy on April 21st in Japan, selling over 300,000 units. Yeah, that right, everyone? 300,000 units within the first two weeks of release. 1989 also saw the release of numerous cult classics, for example, Super Mario Land and the most iconic puzzle game in history, Tetris. This game is set in the fictional world of Yuria, which is based on the highly popular TV series at the time, Conan the Barbarian, an evil entity known as Death Adder captured the king and his daughter. He also found the magical emblem of the kingdom, the Golden Axe, and threatened to destroy the, both the axe and the royal family if they did not accept him as the supreme ruler. It is up to you to fight back against the legions of darkness, take their death adder, and save the kingdom. The Axis ability scores are as follows. To kick off proceedings, visibility gives a 10. Due to the game stage, there are no colorblind modes available in this game. However, there is very little need for one. There are no color coded elements that could cause an issue for a colorblind player. Next up, on ability, gave a 10. There are no spoken dialogue in this game. In those days, all dialogue was text based due to the cartridges and max size, and imagination had to fill in the blanks. Next up, mobility, I also scored a 9. The controls can be fully customized via the options menu. When I was playing this game on authentic Sega Mega Drive hardware, thanks to our friends over in Arcade Glasgow, Using the Mega Drive controller felt very clunky due to the size of the controller. To be fair, this was before stick-based controllers, for example, the Gravis gamepad had the market. However, the game feels more natural when playing with more modern controllers through the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis Classics collection. So apart from these slight drawbacks, this game is highly playable for a player with a mobility impairment. And last, certainly by no means least, gameplay I also scored a 9. This game is an excellent addition to the beat em up subgenre. It is a well known fact that this title built the foundation in which Streets of Rage was built on, in the same way that Wolfenstein 3D built the foundation in which the god tier 1993 first person shooter game Doom was built on. The soundtrack is excellent. Composed by the legendary Yuzo Koshiro. This game has a grand total of 5 stages. On average, the game takes around 58 minutes to beat. When compared to other games released of the year, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game takes 2.5 hours to beat. Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle takes about an hour and a half to beat. So this game is a little below average but the game's quality more than makes up for it. So if you're a beat-em-up enthusiast and is looking for a classic for a nostalgia fix, this game is highly recommended. And the overall score is 95%. This is Sponsor Commander 1990 Chief Editor of Disabling Reviews, and I'll see you guys in the next review.
Oh, so you finished the review for Golden Axe. So, do you want to play a bit more Half-Life? You know what, Tails? That's an absolutely righteous idea. I'll go get set up and we'll get recording right away.